Hello guys, this is Spicy Blocks, and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade 1144 Scale Grace Standard Type Slash Commander Type. Uh, this is part of the Gundam Iron Blooded Orphan series, and uh, these guys are basically uh, just the uh, grunt suits, the infantry. And uh, yeah, the set was released in 2015, originally retailed for uh, 1,000 yen in Japan. And uh, here's some uh, picture of the grays. Now uh, it comes with the uh, parts to convert uh, just a regular grunt type, or uh, you know the infantry type to the commander type. Also, I uh, got uh, some conversion where you can make the ground version or the space version. Got some weapons. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, uh, the set or the model kit. So right here we have the grays. I know you've seen, uh, probably seen the uh, Schwabi grays in my previous review. If not, uh, they're very similar. So here, let me grab the Schwabi grays right here. You can see uh, the Schwabi grays here is just a modified version of this guy. And uh, he's just got a lot of uh, extra uh, upgraded attachment to it. All right, that's uh, that's the Schwabi Grace right there. They have uh, they share a lot of similarities. Basically, uh, these are the base model where all, uh, a lot of uh, Galahorn suits are uh, made from, such as the, uh, the Schwabi Grace, the Grace Ritter, and then uh, they've been upgraded in the season two into the Regin Lays, which I will also review very soon. So let's take a look at the articulation. So it's got a ball joint right here. So you can rotate the arm very nicely. You can uh, do this uh, uh, as a arm swivel over here. Also a bicep swivel. You get a single uh, single joint elbows, and you get a ball joint for the hand. Pretty cool. And the heads on the double uh, ball hinge, one for the top of the head. And one for the uh, underneath the body area, but uh, yeah, uh, you're not gonna get a lot of movement from uh, <laughs> this one. There's actually a piece right there that kind of hinder its uh, mobility for uh, the neck area. Yeah. Also, you can open up the uh, head piece right here and reveal like the uh, I guess the some kind some kind of a mole. A mono light or something like that and what's really cool is you can swap out the uh, just a headpiece right here and you can make the commander type with the fin up here so now he is the commander type and he's uh, piloted by this dude right here I don't know his name but uh, if you watch uh, uh, I am blooded orphan is actually you can watch it on Hulu and uh, they got a uh, you know the whole entire uh, season one and season two up there. It's a pretty pretty interesting series. I only watched one episode, so <laughs> I uh, I don't really know what's going on. But anyway, uh, let's keep going. So uh, there's a poly cap right here, and uh, you can pretty much uh, do a split. However, these uh, skirts, the side skirt pieces, do get in the way. And uh, we got a single bent, uh, double jointed knee right here, which is very cool. And we got a ball joint on the feet. So you get a pretty good range of movement. Also, uh, you can, there's actually a piece right here so you can uh, actually move the feet. It's attached to a peg and then underneath is a ball joint. So you get some decent movement. My only complaint about the grays is like uh, the way their feet are shaped. Yeah, like I said before, on the Schwabi Grace, you know, they look like they're wearing heels. And uh, some of them tend to like to fall over. This one's actually a lot better. Yeah, like uh, he, he actually stands up pretty good. So that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, for the uh, the body area, he's got this uh, chest crunch right here. And then uh, he's got a ball joint for the waist. Uh, pretty much all the uh, Iron Blooded Orphan suits are designed uh, with uh, uh, some sort of inner frame where you build up and you put the armor on. And uh, the gimmick is you can like you know easily pop these armor pieces off and put them on like another <laughs> another uh, 
you know, another kit. So that's pretty cool. And a lot of stuff is interchangeable, like this jetpack. Uh, you can remove it and then uh, peg into another, uh, you know, another uh, model kit. So, and on the bottom, we have, uh, you know, this attachment piece right here, which you can attach this thing. And make it the uh, ground type. Like that. That's pretty cool. All right, and uh, for weapons, he's got the same same set of weapon as the uh, Schwabby Grace. So let's uh, test this real, real quick. There's actually a peg over here on his uh, forearm, so you can uh, properly attach this uh, weapon. Now you can see uh, I did some panel lining. Uh, a lot of uh, panel lining on the body is done with the Gundam marker. Uh, the panel lining on the gun, actually, I use a, a very small, a very fine Sharpie. I fig figure, you know, uh, that way the detail can show up a little bit better. So we got this uh, assault weapon, assault rifle, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can attach to the arm very securely. And we have the magazines, which you can uh, attach or remove on either side. So that's really cool. And uh, overall, these guys just looks really cool for, uh, you know, for grunts. So he's also got this uh, axe right here. Very cool, just like the Schwabby Grace. And uh, when it's not in use, you can actually attach it to uh, either side of his waist via these uh, peg holes. I believe there's also one on the back. I remove this piece right here. Okay, actually no, it's not. You can only attach to the side skirts. But either way, it's a it's a very nice looking uh, uh, model kit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My only complaints are these feet. It looks like uh, it it causes them to fall over sometimes. And uh, yeah, it does have some sticker applications, like these uh, yellow stickers, which I think is okay. There's not really a lot, just all these yellow stickers from the front to the back. I didn't feel like painting them tonight because uh, I want to get this one done as soon as possible so I can review it. And also, uh, you know, maybe I can start customizing some stuff. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.